Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your very first CSS Flexbox tutorial. Okay then gang, so before I start waxing lyrical about CSS Flexbox, I just want to talk about how we would currently uh, lay out a page using CSS before Flexbox in a browser. So, we typically use different positional properties, right, such as position absolute or relative to get elements exactly where we want them on a page or just to tweak them a little bit. We'd also use things like floats for creating a grid layouts or navigation systems, but then we'd be kind of confronted with that problem of collapsing elements and we have to come up with clear fixes, that kind of jazz. And we'd also probably use things like fixed heights for columns that we want to be equal in height. Now, a lot of the times when we wrote CSS for this, it seemed like a lot of work for what it achieved on the page. And also, it sometimes felt a little bit hacky the way we were doing it. So this is where CSS Flexbox comes in and just blows all of that out of the water. So Flexbox is just a new CSS display type which is designed to help us craft those CSS layouts much, much easier. So basically it lets us control the position of elements, the size of them and the spacing of them relative to their parent container elements and each other. And it also works great responsively too. So here's a kind of quick, and I mean really quick, overview of how Flexbox works. So first of all, what we do is take a container like this. This would be an element. And then we'd apply a display type of flex to that parent element. Then those children elements directly within that parent would all become flex items. And essentially they'd become more flexible. And that means we can control how they shrink and how they grow within it, as well as the spacing between them. So that's kind of how it works on a broad level. And don't worry, we're gonna dive right into how all the nitty gritty stuff works as well. So some of the benefits of using Flexbox are that we can create navigation bars and menus really easily without having to use floats or worrying about collapsing elements. That we can also create grid layouts really easily as well, things like bar charts and also equal height columns plus other stuff as well. Now before I go any further, it would be wrong of me not to mention that Flexbox is not fully supported out of the box in every single browser and you're going to find that a lot of the problems are in IE like this right here and it tells you all these problems down here. So if you're going to use Flexbox then you want to provide fallback options for those browsers which don't support it. Now one way we can do that is by using Modernizer. Now Modernizer is a really cool JavaScript library and basically it just detects which browser that a user is viewing your website on. So say you're using Flexbox in your website. Now, if a user visits that on an IE browser which doesn't support Flexbox, then Modernizer is gonna say, hey, I know you don't support this, so I'll add a class into the body tag on your web page. Then we can use that class to create specific styles in our CSS for just that browser. So I just thought I'd warn you about that. I'm not gonna be using Modernizer in this tutorial series. I'm gonna be using Chrome, which works pretty well with Flexbox as is. I just wanted to kind of include this in case you're using Internet Explorer or some other browser which doesn't fully support it. Okay, so next, I just wanna show you this GitHub repository I've got. This is for this playlist. So if you wanna to go to this link, I'll provide it and I'll put it down below and click download zip. That's gonna download all these different files that I've created for this playlist. And in there, we've got a few different examples as well as some base styles and an index file where we're gonna do a lot of the lessons. So I'm also using a text editor called Brackets and you can get that from brackets.io if you're interested. Just click this download button here. It's free and it comes with a nice UI and some pretty cool features too. Okay, so if you've downloaded those files from GitHub, then you wanna open them up in your favorite text editor. Like I said, I'm using brackets. And the first thing is this index.html file right here. This is just the base HTML file where I'm gonna do most of the lessons. And it's also linked up to a style sheet right here. And those styles are just really basic, just styles this wrapper right here and the body. And the wrapper just essentially keeps everything within a central column on our page. I've also done three examples, and we're gonna work through these examples in this playlist. So that's just the menu, um, the nested menus, and also a grid versus stack layout. So we're gonna do those examples as we move on as well. And each of these files just, create, uh, just includes the base HTML as well as some styles that we're gonna work in as well. So there we go, guys. That's your introduction to Flexbox. 
Uh, don't forget to share, subscribe and like and I'll see you in your very next tutorial. <laughs>